Today, I'm gonna share with you half a dozen things your chickens don't need during the winter. Uh-oh, looks like I didn't put enough staples in it. I think that'll do it. I went ahead and sealed off the side door too. And I just figured I'll just lift it up back here for them. Maybe that'll be a little more comfortable. They didn't get in there at all yesterday. So today to be more sure, I'm gonna put their feet under there and open this way up and get them real comfortable with going in there. I'm gonna set you guys down here in the corner. You be really quiet and still and we're gonna see if the chickens will come in here. I'll go let them out and we'll see what happens. There you go, all right, all right. Shh. Look, they're loving on some greenhouse. Good job, guys. I'm gonna lower this a bit to get you guys used to it. There you go. Enjoy your hot house. You see that, Coop? That chick shaw. Is it warm enough for the birds during the winter? Well, we're gonna make one little adjustment, but you might be surprised how little of adjustment we need to make to make these birds happy during the cold winter. It was 19 degrees last night. They're just fine. Today, I'm gonna share with you half a dozen things your chickens don't need during the winter. First up, a sweater. Your chickens are 105 to 109 degrees inside. Plus they got all those feathers. If it gets real cold, they'll put their head in there. They'll crouch down on the perch to cover their legs. They'll lift one leg up at a time. Think about it. Have you seen those wild birds that stick around in the winter and don't migrate? Listen, you might can hear some now. If you listened really carefully, you could hear some of those wild birds. Happy as can be in the coldest of winters. That's your chicken. The second thing your chickens don't need is petroleum jelly. First of all, it's petroleum. You don't want to put that on your birds. If you're gonna do that, get un petroleum jelly. It serves the same purposes, but people will put that on there to prevent frostbite. But let's that's just treating the symptom, not the cause. That's caused by moisture. So let's treat the cause and aerate the coop better. Get more air going in there. I know it sounds contradictory, but you need more air. That gets rid of the moisture. And it's the moisture that's the devil in the winter, not necessarily the cold. See how this coop is well ventilated? 
open on the south side. See how pointed on the south facing the sun. I've also got it ventilated up top. That's where you want as much as you can get ventilation. Air can get up and over. That's above their perches, which is which are right there at floor level. They can get in there behind the wind, behind these panels, and be protected from the wind and still get lots and lots of air. Yeah, they also cuddle up on each other too to keep warm. See that one back there kind of puffed up? Yeah, they kind of puff up and get their head close to their body, and that keeps them warm. There, just give them one extra layer of wind protection on the side, leave the front totally open. If you think this is totally crazy, read open air poultry houses and you'll change your mind. If you're up where it gets real cold, stay with me now. If you're up where it gets real cold, like Pennsylvania or higher, you could put straw bells around the bottom of this to prevent some of that underneath, but that would be the third thing I want to warn against is straw bells. You definitely wouldn't want to do it inside. They can get wet and moldy unless you can protect them from getting wet. Uh, I think outside would be okay since, 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 since there's a lot of fresh air and that could go a long way to help them if need be. Surround the bottom of your chickshaw with straw bells. And if you do lights, which we'll talk about that in a minute, that's going to be one of my other things that you don't need. But if you're going to do it, or you're raising chicks or something, you have heat lamps. You want to make sure those lights match the specification of the socket. And the you don't want to overload that light socket. It could uh, cause a fire. And be careful nowadays of Teflon coated light bulbs. They can give off a gas that's poisonous to you and the birds. You got to read the really fine print for that. While we're talking about light bulbs, you don't need them. If you put supplemental lights on your birds so maybe they'll lay more, it's true, but it can also mess with their hormones. I like to consider an egg season. Just like there's an apple season, watermelon season, orange season, there is an egg season and chickens naturally shut down in the winter. I still put them to use. It's a great time to till gardens, spread mulch, uh, work compost. There's plenty of other things they can do to be useful during the slow down months. That's it, quick and easy. Hey, I've got a sort of a side note for you. Off topic, well, you remember when I was able to grow most of my own food working just 10 hours a week on the farm? Well, early on in my business, I was able to find the same sort of efficiency. I wouldn't say it was a 10 hour of work, stay at home, entrepreneur kind of job. I would say it was more of a 20 hour but highly distracted because at that point when we just start started, got started, we had the kids at home, we were running the business, so we kind of had a tag team and we were distracted off. But despite our distractions and lack of money, even though we had had this successful Kickstarter, I, I'm here to tell you it actually costed even more than that. It was absolutely crazy and that wasn't even our living expenses. So we had to start a business. We did. We were very successful. Where, where are you going? Don't fall off there. We were, we were very successful and we just want to spread that love, share what we've learned because we feel so blessed and honored and fortunate. We did a lot of research, a lot of hard work. We know what works and what doesn't and I want to give that to you. I created a PDF. It's called the 20 hour work week. I'll leave the link to that PDF down below. Go check it out. There's a couple other goodies there including that micro documentary that they filmed on us in the summer. It was our success story. I warn you though, you might need a tissue, especially if you're sensitive. You just might cry. You see the hard spot that we came from to where we are now. I want to take many of you there. So if you're interested in starting your own business, quitting your job, going home, being with the family, I encourage you to check it out. I think it can help you.
nice warm in here. Hey, Mr. Brown, let me let me give you a neck massage. You don't care. <laughs> you don't care. Mr. Brown went pee pee in the potty all by himself this morning. You did. Yeah. You're a big boy. Yeah. Give me five. Good job. Did you flush it down too? Yeah. yeah. Well, and the funny thing is, is that he thinks he has to change his underwear every time. Duh. Even if you didn't soil it, huh? I know. I couldn't get him to put the same underwear on, so I just took... We'll go with it, won't we? Yeah. I mean, did he go himself? He like, did. you didn't even I have didn't to take... I didn't say anything. And there was no pee in his underwear. <gasps> You're a big boy! Yeah. Like, he did it completely on his own. Good job! All of a sudden, he was bringing me in there to show me. What are you looking at? Looks like you're looking at buses. I'm looking at, um, so this is outside found. And yeah. I was just looking at how they mounted their monitors. Ah. Uh. Because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for this monitor. You're always working on this, which is always needed it's and crazy. much appreciated. I, I did go ahead and start the order for our mattresses. And yes. Missions. Yeah. Now. On a scale of one to ten, stress. Ten being the worst and one being so relaxed. How stressful is this? It's like a twelve. <laughs> Off the it's chain. It's because it's. I mean, we're building a house. Like everyone says, like building yeah. a house is the most stressful thing ever. I'm making decisions about stuff that I just don't know, and that's hard because mm -hmm. I don't have all the information. Oh, look at your Christmas craft. You're looking cute. Who are you? A deer. Oh, nice. A deer. We got some other hats for the big guys. Oh, wow. Nice. Good job, Christy. Yeah, no problem. Lily thought up the face part. Cool. That's whole idea. What do you think, Mr. Brown? <laughs> You want a nose on your hat? My nose. So you got a hat, Christy? We can, we're going to work on one for him. He's oh, Okay, sweet. Miss Christy's yeah. going to make one for you. got to think of something. Show me what else you've made here, honey. Uh, decorations. Christmas decorations for our party on Sunday. We're having a big Christmas party. S'mores and, 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 and hot dogs. Time. Yeah, it'll be at nighttime. There's going to be a ton of people here, Lily. And it's going to be so cold outside. We're going to have to all fit in here somehow. Hey guys, we got your hats all finished. Mm -hmm. oh. Awesome, what are you, Josie? Uh, uh, elf. An elf, and Lily's a reindeer. Jonah, you're Santa Claus, can you ho, ho, ho for us? <laughs> no, and Gideon is Rudolph. <laughs> so cute.